Now, let's talk tropics. This system right here, the overall, this is just looking like a better atmosphere. Look at these outflow bands. Basically, this thing's breathing. This is trying to move to the north and the west and develop. Will not affect us here in Tampa. That's the good news. But winds right now around 35 miles per hour. You see how this is all flowing away from the center. Looking at this, this is a good sign for this to try and develop. It looks like it wants to go to the west northwest. We're just now starting to get models on this, this is Invest 91L. I think it ends up more something like this, just south maybe of the Texas border. But there's going to be a lot of moisture that's thrown into Texas all the way up through Houston as well over the next several days. Look at this. Here we, <laughs> this is where we are. The system way out east. Here's the Bahamas, right? That's about a 30% chance of developing. Right now, it's actually been trending further to the north. We don't think we get much out of this either way. But maybe up towards South Carolina, maybe even Myrtle Beach. I want to show you the European model. There's Wednesday. There's the first system already trying to move into Brownsville, right? Look at the second system out here. This is the European model. GFS has been running a little south of this. Either way, it's a much weaker system, and it moves in towards the Carolinas by Thursday, Friday of this week. Initially, it was coming in towards Daytona Beach for us. We get a little, little bit of rain. Jacksonville will get more rain. They need it. I think that's going to dodge that area. Next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we'll be watching the Gulf again. It's a pretty active pattern that we're in. So, tropic-wise, no immediate threats, but something to watch.